everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with Stock Swoosh and I'm reviewing Apple. Beautiful bullish gap up in Apple on Friday. Called two options trades, two calls in this that worked. Called the day trade in this too. And I said in the pre-market in the morning, right into the open and even after we were in the day trade. I said this is going to 270 today, 100% conviction and no chance of failure. And it actually went to 271. It could have even kept going, except for the fact that the market closes at four o'clock. <laughs> But if the market had not closed at four o'clock, if the market had been open at five o'clock, this would have gone to 272. It would have closed at the highs no matter when the market closed, and that's exactly basically what it did. Um, so it'll be interesting to see if Apple continues this week, because if it does, 272 is inside. It could even gap up Monday morning, 275. But I don't know if the market gaps up tomorrow, and I don't know if this gaps up tomorrow, because the market, again, has been very strong, and when you're up money going into the weekend, anything can happen between Friday night, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, especially with all this stuff happening overseas. So this was a really, 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 really beautiful gap, and the biggest winner for Friday, and we don't day trade Apple all the time, so it was unusual I called it. Uh, one of the traders, Nurse Jackie, mentioned the room. When was the last time we did Apple? I said, May 1st. I remembered it. Months and months and months ago. You know, six months ago. But here it was. So, stock closed the night before down here. 265.58. Boom. Open in the morning. 267.48. And took up like a rocket. And you just, you just take it. You just get in. I mean, here's the run up. And I think some people took profits a little early. Um, but I really felt 100% conviction 270, and then once it did get to 270, it really just didn't even stop going and just ran right straight up. So a beautiful move in Apple, a bullish gap up, I will go long. Not every day, but when it's good, we'll do it. So we'll see where this goes into Monday next week. We'll be watching Apple, very, very strong. This has benefited a lot from a lot of the tariff stuff that's coming up, but you got to watch December 15th because nobody knows what's going to happen then, which is not this week. No, it's next week. So next week is going to be the big one to see what happens. Anyways, congratulations to everyone who did Apple on Friday, who was on the options newsletter and in the day trade room. Apple was the big winner with the stock swoosh Friday. Have a great weekend, everyone. If you're interested in the last Golden Gap class of the year, it's coming up next weekend, December 14th and 15th. Have a great day.